Welcome back to another episode of Sandwich Making with Scuttlefon. It has been quite a long time since the last episode of this series, and I apologize. My uh, schedule has been rather busy with many different things, but I have put aside just enough time today to make a sandwich for the series. And, as promised so long ago, I am here to go crazy with chicken. And by that, I have grew, I have fried, excuse me, some chicken, some chicken breast meat, and that will be the base for today's sandwich. But, what we're going to start with is our Safeway Signature Select potato bread. Um, and on it, we will be using some of this smoky horseradish sauce. Oh, well, I've put a bit much on there, if you can see in here, but means it'll be a bit extra spicy. That can be dealt with. Now that the sauce is on our sandwich, we will be adding on the chicken. Now this chicken I cooked today, it's a very simple seasoning, just some um, what did I, what did I put on it? Um, you know, I'm not sure, but, you know, salt, pepper, olive oil. Just a nice, calm flavor. Just fit all of it on there. Ah, very nice. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Alright, we're back. Um... We, for cheese, will be using this Colby Pepper Jack, and this is Colby Jack cheese, so you have a bit of Pepper Jack, but with some extra flavor. And that is the cheese we'll, we will be using on today's sandwich. Pull out a slice here. Um, this looks very interesting, I must tell you. Put on two slices, as we have quite a lot of chicken to cover. Uh, that's very nice. And for the last part of this sandwich, we'll be using a unusual sandwich ingredient. Um, here we have Wild About Sprouts Crispy Clover and Alfalfa Sprouts. Now, you might be thinking, sprouts, why would you put those on a sandwich? And I will be honest, I, it is an experiment. These sprouts could or could not taste very good on this sandwich. But I tried a few earlier, and I believe for such a, such a sandwich as we have here. They will be an interesting addition and hopefully a tasteful addition to their sandwich. Got a nice bed on there and some crunch to it, add a bit of vegetable health that on there. It's a very thick sandwich. And to finish the sandwich off, we will be, of course, throwing it on the grill. Now that the sandwich has been grilled on this uh, panini press that I have, it looks very nice. The sprouts on it, um, it definitely does not look clean. The uh, cleanliness and appearance score on the test will be hurting 
because of these, but hopefully they taste good. And as for um, what we'll be pairing with it today, I have these. Let me take the clip off so you can see what they have. Kettle brand pepperoncini potato chips. Have a nice little uh, slight spice, mild spice flavor to go with this, which I believe will have a bit of a mild kick to it. And to drink a simple choice, a glass of Dr. Pepper on ice. Um, now that we've got our whole meal together, it is time for the sandwich review. Now for the sandwich review or taste test. This sandwich today that we've made looks a bit messy, but although it's bohemian nature, I believe it will prove to be a truly interesting experience. Now to try a bite. I must say, the flavors definitely complement each other in this sandwich. They're one of the high points standing out above the texture of it. The texture, the chicken is a little thick, um, but it's not as bad as the cheese in the first episode. Um, the cheese in this sandwich really drives the flavor. Um, compared to it, the sprouts I can't say that I taste them a lot, but they don't conflict with the other flavors. Now, texture-wise, it's nothing interesting. Flavor-wise, it's good, but the chicken doesn't stand out as I hoped it would, um, and the sprouts don't stand out. The bread is, of course, very nice. Potato bread, sourdough, very nice for sandwiches. Now, if you want to make a sandwich like this with maybe some pepper jack or Colby jack in this case, I would recommend using sourdough or potato bread. Now, the pairings go particularly well with the sandwich. The chips, pepperoncini flavored, um, really complement the flavors as good as a chip could. The Dr. Pepper, um, is a surprising, surprisingly good addition to the meal as a whole. Um, and honestly, everything works in this sandwich. It's surprising how much everything works. Now, texture, I would give a 7 out of 10. Um, flavor, I would give a 9 out of 10. Um, pairings, I would give a 9 out of 10. Appearance is not great and not particularly interesting, although the chicken and cheese do look nice with each other. And of course, with the grill, I was able to have the classic grill lines on it, which looks nice, so I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Overall, while this sandwich in some places some other video, if it was slightly different, would warrant a 8 out of 10 rating. I elect to give this sandwich a 9 out of 10 rating. It is a very solid sandwich, something I would love to eat any day of any week. So that is why I give this sandwich a 9 out of 10. Now, thank you for tuning in this week for this sandwich video. As for the future of this sandwich series, I will continue it when I can. And I have enjoyed this sandwich, and there will be another sandwich episode coming, more sandwich content coming in the future. So stay tuned and be patient, please. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you soon.